YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a great day. I got a few things in today that wanted to share with you. One of the two things I mentioned in the earlier vlog is I was going to do business cards for my uh, YouTube channel. So what I did was use my cover art on the front of the card and on the back side I have uh, the YouTube logo and then a QR code for scanning into mobile devices and then just the, the typed version of my channel address down below that. I'm going to start using those, passing them out, leaving them here and there, see if I can get any more subscribers to be following me just by uh, their curiosity of picking up this card or seeing this card and scanning that QR code in and uh, hopefully with a small investment of I think I got 500 cards or so just leave them here and there. Hopefully I'll get some more subscribers and we'll see how that marketing uh, plan goes. And in the meantime I will let you know in future vlogs how that's going. So that is the first thing I got in uh, today. The other one was this guy here came in the mail. I was looking at it, I'm trying to figure out what is this shiny thing? Is it some kind of space food that I can uh, dehydrate or whatever, or hydrate and eat? But uh, as I examined it more, and I'm surprised it did make it, because look at this label, it's all torn up and everything. It is uh, what I've been expecting and waiting for from my Kickstarter uh, support that I did back in December, I believe. Uh, so let's just open it up with my uh, trusty old knife here. And uh, you can see on the back here, where I cut, cut it open, uh, it said it was examined by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. So that was kind of freaking me out as far as uh, what was going on. But this is what I've been waiting for. It's the hyperdrive uh, that, uh, what is the company here? Sanho, Hyper by Sanho Corporation, or Corporation. Didn't even spell that right, but it's the uh, Thunderbolt 3 USB-C hyperdrive. And I'm going to be checking it out and uh, seeing what's going on here. And give you a little review as far as what's, how it goes. I mean, I've had my... Uh, MacBook Pro 2016 for pretty much since it came out and what I've been doing mainly is uh, using the dongles and stuff, little uh, dongles and stuff that's uh, not the ones that Apple supplies but uh, let me show you what I've been doing. This is my little bag of uh, dongles that I have and basically I just uh, I didn't get any extra ones I've been using these little USB-C adapters for uh, the regular USB 2.0 and 3.0, but those uh, just clip on to the end of this clip on to the end of there, and then all I do is plug it into the laptop, and we're good to go. But I'm hoping this will resolve a little bit of the uh, congestion of as far as cords and everything on my laptop. So the first thing we do is we open it up. We got it in here. There's no other instructions or anything inside here it just has this little USB uh, USB-C hyperdrive it's got two regular USB ports for 2.0 and 3.0 it's got a SD card slot it's got a micro SD card slot and then it has two other USB-C uh, slots here that uh, one has that little lightning rod next to it meaning it's the Thunderbolt 3.0 also with inside the box they gave me a little uh, leather or faux leather case to carry this guy in so that will make it easy to uh, keep it protected and carry it around either in my laptop bag or whatever I have. So let's go ahead and uh, hook this up to my laptop and see what kind of uh, functionality we get out of it and uh, see how that goes. All right, guys. I got my uh, setup here ready to go. Got my uh, hyperdrive. Got my laptop set up. So as you can see on my uh, laptop here, I got the space gray. It's not the closest in matching of color. I guess depending on the light, it may or may not look better. But it's pretty close. I like it. I mean, it's better than a bright silver or maybe even a black would have been nice, but they didn't offer that. So let me go ahead and plug this in on the side here. It takes up two of the USB-C ports. And then once that's connected, you get the indication light that it's getting power. 
So let me go ahead and try a few things here. I got a few, uh, got a USB drive, I got a micro SD card and a regular SD card. And I was playing with it just a little bit there. And I noticed when you have the hyperdrive on the left hand side, the SD card needs to be upside down or inserted upside down. So I'm going to put that in the side slot here. It doesn't go in really deep, but as you can see, it loaded my card just fine. And that's got that indicated there. Let me go ahead and put the micro SD card in. Now that one has to go upright with the label. And that's just a slot just above that one. And you sh can do both at the same time. So that's in. That should be popping up on my screen any second now. So I got that one. So that one's reading, showing that it's there. So let me go ahead and push the limit here. I'm going to put my USB drive into the side here also and see if I can get all three of them to load up at the same time. And there it is. Got that loaded up also. So it was able to see them all. There's two USB 2.0 and 3.0, but I only got one in there right now. I assume you could probably do a fourth one if you really wanted to push the limit of uh, the writing speeds and the, the data throughput on this guy. So let me go ahead and take these out carefully because it's going to pull the drive out if I'm not careful. And obviously I should have ejected that first. Let me eject these other two. There's that one. Eject that one. And those should come out nicer and easier because they're not very far in. Or the USB drive was a lot farther in there. Let me try the other slot by itself. That one's loaded. I'm going to go ahead and put the SD card in on the bottom here if I can get it that in and that's loading too so everything seems to be working fine and you eject that one you also get two USB ports on the side there so let me go ahead and plug in my power and see if I can get yep it says it's charging in the upper corner there okay, take that out try it in the other one That is not a charging one. So let me try this. So the very top one, the one with the lightning bolt next to it, is probably the charging one. So let me go ahead and eject this. I just want to make sure this port is working. That USB C port. Let's take that out and the SD card. I'm going to put one of my adapters on this guy and see if that is the case or if that's a bad port. The adapter is lighting up and it's loading. So that is the case where the uh, top one is the only one that will charge it. Let me eject it and take that out try it one more time. I'm going to put it in the lower one, or the first one. And no indication that it's charging. Put it in the top one. And there it goes. It is charging on that one. So let me undo that and take that out. So as you can see on here, you got your two USBs. You got SD, micro, and then your two USB-Cs. And the one with the little uh, lightning bolt next to it is the one that can be charged on that as far as that's concerned. Now you can also do it on the other side of the laptop because you do got four ports on each one but it will be covering your audio jack and I notice on this side it's got a little lift to it so you gotta be careful with that or what I've done is just taking the little black case that they've provided to protect it and that gives it a little lift so you don't have to worry as much about that as the other side. So let me go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I'm going to do a charge test on the top one. 
There it goes. So that's good. I'll do a charge test on the second one just to see. No effect. I'm going to do... Now on this side, because you're flipping it, everything's going to be reversed. So your USB drives 2.0s are going to be upside down now. And that loaded right there on the screen. And then your SD card will be on the uh, right side up. But if you're going to do your micro SD card also, which got buried here, you're going to have to put him in first because once you put your SD card in, you're not going to be able to see your micro SD card slot because it's underneath it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there if I can find a hole. So the S micro SD card will be upside down on the right hand side. There it goes, it, it loaded. And then your regular SD card will go right side up on this side now. And there it did, it loaded on that. And so everything seems to be working great. So I'm pretty pleased how this uh, device little worked out, this little hyperdrive device worked out. Uh, I thought maybe I could power through both of those USB-C ports, but you don't only need to power through one of them. Uh, they are fairly close together, so any other device, like if I were using this one in there, my little adapter device, I would not be able to get the power cable in there because it just doesn't have the room to fit in there, but that's okay. I mean, I shouldn't have to use these as much. I can always use it on the other side if needed. But I like this little device. It's got the two USB ports, SD card, micro SD card, and two USB-C ports uh, that you can use. I got this on a Kickstarter support. I will try to see what uh, they're doing as far as selling them after the Kickstarter and give you a link below. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Like I said, they got a little case here for you to put it in. And I noticed at the very tip there's magnets to uh, help keep it in there too. So it's not going to, once it loosens up, it's not going to slide out because there's little magnets helping support it. But this will be uh, a good thing to have in my bag and carry around. And I will go from there and I should be hopefully a little more productive. I won't need this big guy to carry around anymore, although I'll probably keep it handy anyway. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Hope you have a great week and I will catch you next time.